Hello and welcome to Point of View. Japan's Slimlander is alive after a long sleep on the moon Slim, short for Smartlander for investigating moon, responded to a command from Earth after hibernating for nearly a month. Part of that downtime fell during the cold of the moon's two-week night. Mission officials announced early Monday, February 26. Last night a command was sent to Slim and response received, confirming that the spacecraft has made it through the lunar night and maintained communication capabilities, said JAXA officials. The electronics were operational despite surface temperatures being at a staggering 212 Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. If we continue to communicate, things will get even hotter. So yesterday I decided to communicate for a while and then take a break again. JAXA's post continued, appearing to be playfully impersonating the lander. The lander is not only awake, but continuing to gather bits of science. Fresh mission imagery on the mission's Japanese language account shows a new zone of the moon, which was not visible last time, images were taken using the mission's navigation camera. Although the team plans to only make contact again when local temperatures have fallen to safer levels, it's been a topsy-turvy wild ride for Slim ever since it made a precise touchdown on the rim of Shioli Crater on January 19. The lander ended up upside down due to engine trouble, but fortunately its solar panels are still receiving energy from the sun, albeit at a reduced level, facing westward. The reduced sunlight caused the mission to shut down shortly after landing, before reviving nearly 10 days later for a brief couple of days of operations that lasted until February 1st, JXA made the most of the brief operations time, scouting around the landing site using the spacecraft's multiband camera in search of olivine and other minerals. It also photographed numerous pictures of rocks, which officials imaginatively named after dogs to indicate their relative sizes. But the lunar night, which is roughly 14.5 Earth days long, saw no sunlight reach the lander at all, lunar daytime hit the region around Feb. 15. But this OIM's unfavorable landing position meant that not enough sunlight reached the lander until the S weekend. The remarkable recovery shows that its electronics survived equatorial lunar nighttime temperatures of around minus 208 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 130 degrees Celsius. SLIM has met its main and extended mission objectives of making a precision landing, sending to small rovers onto the surface for their own operations, and picking up science data in the surrounding area. SLIM is only one of many landers headed for the moon surface. This as the race for lunar dominance heats up. US-based intuitive machines recently landed a spacecraft on the lunar south pole. India is gearing up for Chandrayaan for lunar sample mission, while China is all set for its Chang-6 lunar sample mission from the far side of the moon some time in the first half of this year. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.